Okay, 3G1 action. My name is Eric, and this is another video by uh, VBAHowTo.com. So come on out to VBAHowTo.com, and you can get your, you can get the uh, the database and the code for this particular video. And actually, this video is in response to a uh, to a question I received on an option option frame option group type video I have on the on the site there um, oh by the way I'll put the I'll put the address to the database down there in the comments area and hopefully YouTube will get their act together and um, and allow me to send people directly to my my blog post if not well we'll just we'll just wait I'll, I'll do my best for, for what I can do uh, for y'all all right the question goes as follows hello I have a question can we store decimal value in in the option value like if I want to put the value of yes equal to 0.25 and no equals 1.25 is it applicable or doable please help okay so thank you for your question and so anyway hopefully this answers I came up with this little example and hopefully it answers the issue the question um, so first of all this real simple I have a little box saying yes or no and it's just one form it's not even based on a table or nothing uh, if I click no if I click value I get 0.25 if I click yes I get 1.25 okay that's my value and I'm not storing it in the frame but I have to store it in the in the code itself so I write VBA code that has that stores the value um, stores the value of 1 and 2 now I have a uh, my frame inside my frame I have two option buttons one is a value of 1 uh, one is a value of 2 and in that frame, whenever I click on number one, the first option button, okay, number that says no. And again, this is just a label right here. And inside that option frame, okay, the frame says big square right here. And uh, I have two different items, no and yes. Uh, if I click no, it has value of one. If I click yes, it has value of two. Okay, that's kind of a background. So if I click on value one, my DBL value gets to be 0.25. If I click on a value of, of uh, let's see, yes, it gets a value of 1.25. Okay, and I'm using a select case statement to generate this. So I'm saying select case, case one, DBL value equals this case 2 dbl value 1.25 and then at the end uh, my message box dbl value so hopefully that answer your question if not I'm sure you'll respond and say it did or did not answer the question um, thanks for writing in and uh, for any of y'all who have questions uh, please go ahead and uh, you can either yeah leave me a message or leave a message to, uh, leave a comment on the YouTube video uh, be sure to rate subscribe and or like the video and I will also leave again uh, vbaout2.com I leave the link to the database and the code in the comments area uh, thanks for watching and y'all have a, a good one bye